just 46 inches of left. Ah, that is Well, what was happening was over the last couple of years, we've added so many nice accessories to this vessel that we've literally been running out of room for the wiring. All the wiring was housed up underneath this dash. This is what it originally looked like before I started tearing into everything. And the wires were just packed to the gills back there. And what was happening was when we lost the fuse, I would literally have to remove the stereo right here in order to give myself enough room to do that task. And that's not very user friendly, especially when you're out in the water in an emergency situation. The last thing you want to do is start removing accessories off the boat in order to change out a fuse. Plus, I'm not too crazy about rummaging around the boat trying to locate a fuse. You get down into the cabin, you're under stress as it is, you're looking in all your different drawers and underneath your uh, cushions and stuff trying to locate your fuses or the right type of fuse to put into your fuse block and uh, we're going to be switching things out today here at Shipshape TV. We're going to change over from fuse technology to something called circuit breaker technology. Now this way whenever something blows all we need to do is hit the switch and we're back in action. Now we're also going to be showing you how to install a windlass today and what a windlass offers the boat owner is the ability to deploy or retrieve your anchor electronically. So here's the deal. It's a trade-off. Like always, we need to get you to spend the next 30 minutes with us. And in exchange, right after I get a little bit farther into this project, we're going to be letting you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape. Ship Shape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show.